Good morning, I'm meteorologist Ted Schmidt. Here we are, another great looking day in store for us. We've had some fantastic weather uh, the past four or five days going back to really the end of last week. Uh, so you may make it about six days really because you go back to that big cold front that came through the area last uh, Wednesday and Thursday that uh, drew in that drier, uh, less humid weather that we enjoyed over the weekend. Uh, right now, the humidity is slowly working its way back in, but still, a lot of sunshine. This is a look outside just a few minutes before 8 o'clock this morning with our quality group camera from CC Heights. A lot of sunshine, a couple of fair weather clouds ahead of us, a little more humidity. You'll notice that today, but overall not a bad day. And again, looking at temperatures around 84 or so this afternoon, which is actually warmer than we've been in a week. It's been a long time since we've been in warm, as warm as 84 degrees. Uh, sunshine throughout the day. Here's the day planner. Plenty of that. Uh, you go from the 70s, uh, really in mid morning hours, to 84 this afternoon. Winds around 10 to 15 miles per hour at times sunset at 8.09. Just another few days left before sunset is before 8 o'clock. Yikes. That's going to take some getting used to. All right. Sundra sunshine right now in the 7 o'clock hour as we approach 8 o'clock. Anyway, it's 62 degrees in Rochester. 2.60. This is still pretty comfortable. 60 is not too bad. It's right in the upper 60s. It's a little more uncomfortable and start touching 70 or anywhere in the 70s that humidity and that dew point. Uh, that's the oppressively muggy stuff. 62 in Rochester right now, 64 Mesa City, Rushford 64, satellite radar, boy, nothing happening here. We have a storm system coming in for the west. Eventually that will not just pull in that warm, humid air ahead of it, but then that will prime the atmosphere for some thunderstorm chances, and that comes in on Friday. Latest from the Storm Prediction Center puts our area in uh, the slight risk of severe weather for Friday night. Severe weather outlook for today, quiet skies across the map. Tomorrow we'll start seeing some activity maybe coming in for the west for portions of the plains and even, uh, well, all the way down toward the foothills of the Rockies. Not us though, not yet, but on Friday, here it comes. Level two out of five, slight risk of severe weather from the Storm Prediction Center. That's again Friday evening, Friday night, large hail, damaging winds, maybe even tornadoes. We've been watching some of that activity really uh, getting intense at the west, and some of it holds together and comes into our area. That'll be again late in the day, most likely evening, uh, with maybe some heavy rainfall in some of the storms. We could use the rain, we just don't want the other stuff, and we'll take what we, we, we what Mother Nature gives us, whether we like it or not. Unfortunately, that's what we're looking at again for Friday. Now here's future cast for the rest of today. South breeze at times reaching 13, 14 maybe 15 miles per hour. Uh, tomorrow a little gustier than that. Uh, winds at times gusting to 20 miles per hour. A little extra humidity in the air. We have to fair weather cumulus clouds. And eventually we start seeing those thunderstorms to the west get closer for Friday. Some of those sneak in for Friday afternoon. A more widespread severe weather threat again for Friday evening and Friday night with some downpours of rain. 84 today uh, in Rochester, 87. Austin, Mason City, uh, 88. And Winona, 86. South winds at times 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, uh, mainly clear skies. A mild night, 64. South winds lighter. And then tomorrow, south breeze at times gusting to 20 miles per hour. A lot of sunshine, maybe even a little more humidity. Heat in the season, low 90s at times, 85 for your Thursday. But the Thursday's downtown looks terrific anyway, tomorrow's forecast. Uh, Friday evening, a couple of thunderstorms, a severe weather threat Friday night. Saturday looks pretty quiet. Sunday, a couple of evening storms. This could be after 9 or 10 o'clock Sunday night. So really, all of Sunday looks fantastic. Temperatures over the weekend in the upper 70s, overnight lows in the 50s. Next week, still some mild stuff, a couple of thunderstorms perhaps next Tuesday. Otherwise, a lot of sunshine, 80s at first, at least low 80s. And then it looks like the tail end next week and then the following weekend, which is the final full weekend in August, those days in the upper 70s with, again, abundant sunshine. So the weather, for the most part, looks nice. A little bit of much needed rain. Hopefully you get a, a sizable amount of some of those storms and just hope to avoid the severe weather threat on Friday night. Uh, have a great day and uh, a great hump day, that is. And to see you back here for Thursday tomorrow.